y'all so i stepped out of the box last night at work and i wore something that i typically don't wear i mean this wasn't last night now that i'm recording the voiceover it was a few nights ago but i tried a spicy mimosa by dossier and it's inspired by joe malone's mimosa and when i tell y'all it freaking 
eight, okay? For those of you that are asking, they no longer do like the influencer discount codes because they want you guys to use their seasonal and website like online promotional codes. So don't worry if you're trying my code, it's not anything you're doing wrong. Just use the codes that you see and the discounts available on the website. But y'all, go cop this ASAP, okay? Hey y'all, I like my little gown. I forgot the technical word for this, but let me show you guys. It's so pretty, it's so cute. I just feel so pretty in this. But it is Sunday, it is St. Patrick's Day, I believe. All the light glares is annoying, but yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day. <clears throat> it's 6.20. I'm about to get the dirty clothes out of my work bag because I did work last night, took y'all with me. I will do a money count at the end of this vlog before I go to the bank. Um, I may not go to the bank though because it's Sunday and I'm working Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so I might just wait till this weekend to go to the bank. So we'll see, but it's 6.20. I've been in bed literally all freaking day. So I think I'm about to get up and basically clean the house and stuff. And then I'm gonna see what time Target closes. If I don't do Target today, then I'm for sure doing it tomorrow. It's 6.20, I don't really feel like going over today. Target don't close till 10. I don't feel like being out that late today though. I think I'm just gonna clean up and do some self care and stuff around here and then tomorrow, um, after I get done working, I'm probably gonna go to Target because I wanna get something for like some soup and I wanna go like hygiene, kinda hygiene shopping. I wanna take y'all with me. Like hygiene slash self care shopping. There's some stuff that I want and some stuff that I'm like running out of. I don't necessarily need any of this stuff because I have self care stuff here, but I haven't been like hygiene and self care shopping in a very long time. And I thought, why not bring you guys with me? But I, like I said, I'll probably just do that tomorrow. I kind of want to just unwind today and relax and do some self care here. Like dishes. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's dishes all over my sink. There's a load of clothes in the thing. I could probably wash the bedding. Like just stuff like that. Mop, vacuum, you know, all that cute stuff. And then, like I said, tomorrow. I'm filming a hair video in the morning and then after I film that's when we'll probably do our target field trip and when we get in that store you better not touch nothing keep your hands to yourself okay and stay by me and when it's time to go I don't want to hear it my, when I say my crew let's go that means my crew let's go okay keep your hands to yourself but yeah this is so cute y'all I got this from Ross I really just went hygiene. I just went self-care shopping at Ross, but that was more so like clothes. I didn't get a lot of self-care stuff. I mainly got like a few tops and shirts and I got some honey and some soap, but I had to leave it in the airport because I forgot if you're checking the bag, you can't bring certain sizes and I forgot. So my honey jar, couldn't bring it. But there's, I actually have a list for the Target stuff. Let me see, did I put it in my notes? Or did I text myself? Like rose water, spearmint tea, lotion, kombucha, some more eye patches, more exfoliating gloves, some more sugar scrub. I want to look at the feminine wash. I want to try that salt X that I've been seeing everywhere. I need some more bow bath. I need some more Epsom salt. I want to get a pack of toothbrushes. And then I put dinner fajita protein pasta because I think I was going to try and make some fajita protein pasta. But tomorrow my craving might change. So the dinner part is like... That's subject to change, the dinner part. But the rest of that stuff I just named off, 100% getting that. But for now, I'm going to clean up and relax for the evening. Okay, y'all. So I just got through filming how to be more feminine and tap into your feminine energy with this wig. Now, it is the next day. next day and we are about to go to target and get stuff like i told y'all yesterday we had to do ourself we got to do our self-care shopping and get stuff for dinner mm -mm. i think we decided on spaghetti for dinner i'm gonna eat this and i'll meet y'all in the car Let's go.
what y'all know about Miguel. Miguel and Frank Ocean, underrated. Okay, Miguel and Frank Ocean, I'm gonna always give them their flowers because they really them boys for real. I currently have this one, but I'm running out. And I kind of want to try a new kind. This is cute. Moonlight Glow. You can't go wrong with something vanilla. Dragon Fruit. Blue Lagoon. Let's smell this one. Oh, look at that. Anyways, let's smell this one. I don't know, both of these smell really good. And then let's smell the dragon fruit. This one looks good too. I'm just gonna pick one. Ah. We're gonna try this one. Also wanted some Epsom salt. This one's fragrance three. I feel like the relaxing relief only makes sense. It's like, why not? Wait. Yeah, this is eucalyptus. And then we're gonna grab pink one makes <laughs> Now the last time I got bubble bath, I got like a generic kind, but I have used this one, the soothing one, on and off for a few years. But I think I wanna try the restore replenish. Now, I usually get my lashes from Amazon, but I might grab these just to get through this week because I have a lot of filming and stuff to do. I don't know what of this Monday brand, but this looks so freaking cute. I have enough shampoo and conditioner, so I'm not gonna do it, but I definitely wanna try this brand next just because it's so cute. Like, curl defining, like the packaging on that is just absolutely insane. So cute. Okay, so I asked her to look where the rose water and stuff was, and she said that it was showing zero results when she searched it on the thing. So now I'm down here just looking in person. The store is kind of all over the place because it looks like they're stocking. So there's like a bunch of boxes and stuff just everywhere and it's kind of like throwing me off. But I feel like I know they have some because I've seen it before. I'm not exactly sure where it's at, but I just feel like they have some. I mean, if they don't have it, I can always order it online. If they don't have it, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna look too much longer for it. Cause like I said, look at this. There's like this stuff like everywhere, like all over the store. So kind of hard to shop. I don't know if today was their stocking day or what, but they're stocking everywhere. So, but since I'm on this side of this, I'm gonna grab the lotion. This is all body wash, great. That's all I'm gonna grab for the clearance. Where's the women's lotion at? The store is kind of a hot fucking mess today. Now, as far as lotion, <clears throat> Jergens, which actually goes down here. I've tried Jergens, I like it. I feel like I've tried Aveeno, not 100% sure. I've tried this one for sure. I don't know which one I wanna go with today. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna kill you. Now, one lotion that I have not tried is the Native. Uh oh, there's only one of these left. The EOS is what I've been using, but honestly, maybe I'm in the wrong spot, but, oh, here it is, okay. The EOS, they only have this fragrance-free one, which is probably a little bit healthier if there's no fragrance in it, but I kind of like the 
fragrance being in there so i don't know should i try the new native or should i stick with the eos one is 8.99 the eos is 8.99 and the native is 13.99 which is quite ridiculous if we're being honest but i'm sorry you're okay but um is it worth a try or what i think it's worth a try i'm gonna move to try something it's worth a try Okay, now I'm about to look at our list and see exactly where we are. So the rose water, I can't get here. I'm going to have to order that. And then the tea, I'm going to get last. Lotion we just got. Kombucha, I'm going to get last. Eye patches, I got. Exfoliating glove, we got. Sugar scrub, we got. Salt X, they don't have that here. So we're going to have to order that. And then bowl bath, we got. Epsom salt, we got. Toothbrush, toothbrushes, baking soda, and a contact case. I might hold off on the contact case because I know for a fact there's a bag of them at the house. Like I know for a fact. <clears throat> the contact case is for my boyfriend. He wears contacts, but I feel like the cases are underneath the sink and I know they're probably gonna be expensive here. I might just pop in right here and see. Actually, the contact case is only $1.49. Yeah, this is only $1.49, so I guess this will get him by until I can look underneath the sink and see if I can find the big pack that we got already. So yeah, this is not terrible. Not terrible at all. But let's go to toothbrushes and baking soda. We're almost done. Can you guys believe it? She's gonna be I really want freaking spearmint tea but all i see is peppermint raspberry leaf um chamomile and lavender i peppermint's the only thing i see close to spearmint but that's not spearmint so i might just go with this one which is for relaxation i already have raspberry leaf i'm running out but i already have it but i guess i'll try this one since they don't have the one that i would like that's okay i might be able to order some online but these this brand tea is usually these taste pretty good it's the yellow packages the yogi ones that i'm not really a fan of but these are pretty decent so we'll try this and then the last thing we needed we're gonna grab some kombucha and we are done actually after the kombucha it's been a grand time but i know y'all know if i stay in here then you know i'll look up and the tab will be 400 dollars and i don't put stuff back like i don't care if i gotta transfer money or something if i get to the register how much ever they say it is i'm just gonna pay for it because I, I feel like if i put it in my basket and brought it all the way up there i'm not putting it back i'm not so before we get to that point to where everything's costing 500 dollars, i'm gonna grab some kombucha and leave excuse me yeah i'm over it it's too much going on in here I'm probably gonna tell my boyfriend. Let me tell him right now before he checks out. Hopefully he hasn't checked out. He's going to Walmart. Let's call him and see. Hello? Bay. Have you um went to Walmart yet? Um, can you give me some kombucha please? Yeah. It can be like a pack of two or a pack of four. Alright, love you, thank you. Well, I'm about to check out at Target. Okay, I'll we'll probably get there around the same time. Love you too. Bye. Okay, so he said he's gonna get the kombucha, so I ain't, I can leave. I ain't gotta worry about that. We tell you two Lip balm kiss TV. <laughs> Lip balm kiss TV. Yeah. It's three X's. Okay. Right. Okay. All right, y'all, so is it wobbling? No! Okay, I'll just turn the car off. I don't give a fuck. Okay, so I'm at Kane's, and I got me a little kid's meal. Because I was getting hangry. Oh, it's so greasy. I forgot to get ketchup and hot sauce. The kids meal is just perfect. It comes with two tenders and fries. 
and it's just a perfect little snack. And I was like, why not talk to y'all real quick? This shit is so fresh and greasy. But. Now, y'all, I don't drink pop. Like, if you know me, you know I don't drink pop. But he handed me this on accident. And I tried to give it back. And he was like, no, you can keep it. It's Dr. Pepper. I'm going to taste it. Not going to lie. It's kind of good. But it's kind of like tasting like battery acid. Like. It's, it tastes like something you should pour in your car. I'm not going to drink the whole thing. I got me some water, but I just wanted one sip. I hate the little grisly part. But Target was cool. I'm hungry. I haven't ate all day besides that granola bar I had with y'all. And that was hours ago. So, why not? Do y'all have canes in y'all city? And if so, is it bust to you or not? I think canes is fire, but I know a lot of people that don't like it. Spaghetti for dinner should be so good. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. We got new pots and pans. So, y'all remember that night I got that Uber home and I was trying to order those pots and pans off Walmart because they were on sale. And it was one of them times where they marked something down. Anyway, Remy, if you're watching this, shout out to Remy because she posted the link. And these was $300 pots and pans on sale for $69. Y'all know I snagged them. Um... So, tonight will be our first night cooking with our new pots and pans. Probably going to be a late dinner, but I'm going to show you all everything I got. Well, not too late. Spaghetti's easy. Probably just have spaghetti and green beans <laughs> and garlic bread. Or a salad. But I'm excited to show y'all the new pots and pans. I'm going to show you all what we got at Target. I needed this. Just time to pause and eat in the car. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. I'm parking in the Mobile Canes curbside pickup, but there was no spot. Okay, now I feel calm and balanced out. Could I have stopped and got a smoothie? Probably so. <clears throat> was that the vibe? Probably not. Okay, this is what he got from Walmart. Y'all know I went to Target, he went to Walmart, and then we went up at the crib. So this is Italian sausage for tonight. Some honey roast creamy peanut butter. He likes this. I like crunchy, but he likes creamy. Some spinach, a salad topper, which we've never tried this time. This looks fire, honestly. Strawberry, cranberry, honey nut, with pecans and almonds. And then spaghetti sauce for dinner. This we usually use for sandwiches, like subs. Some penne and some spaghetti noodles. These three Olipops, we've never tried this. I think this one's going to taste like Sprite, but this one looks good. Grape, can't go wrong with grape. Two vitamin waters, a pack of kombucha gushers. He had the munchies up in there. I'm about to eat some of these, though. We were out of pepper. This is for dinner tonight. And then this is a new kind of creamy basil alfredo. He just said it looked good. I mean, it looked and sound good. It kind of looks like pesto and alfredo. I don't know, but it looks bomb. But that's what he got from Walmart. I'm about to open me a gusher and then show y'all what I got from Target. And then I'm going to do me a little breathing treatment because I have this nasty ass cough where I cannot breathe. 
but it's not a constant cough it it feels like from if y'all vape then tell me if y'all experience this but when i i switch from this one type what was that vape called that was big No, it says like Viho or Viha or something like that. The big white one that had the, the two stripes on it. I don't know what it, what it is, but that one didn't bother me. But then when we went back to the, what is that small one called? Elf Bar. Elf Bar, that motherfucker is beast. Like ever since I hit the Elf Bar, I've been, it feels like all the juice went in my lungs. And now anytime I lay on my back or like if I breathe in too deep or something, it like moves the juice around. It makes me choke. I don't know. I'm freaking out. I don't want to be in the hospital with one of them things in my throat. So I quit vaping. I barely vaped before that anyway, but I would occasionally hit it. But if me occasion and by occasionally, I mean like out of seven days out the week, I might vape two days out of the week, literally. Like, I was not a heavy smoker at all. I used to be, but I cut back to where I barely even hit the vape. And I just hit that elf bar. This was three days ago. And my throat has not been the same since. Like, so I don't think I'm sick. I just think it's a matter of getting all this stuff out of my lungs and detoxing my lungs out. We have some mullein tea. And I'll make sure I drink some of that every day this week. Because, you know. Okay, these gushers. The gushers bust. I haven't had gushers in a while. But, I'm about to show y'all what we got from target and y'all know the last few trips we took a target was really really expensive that's how much we spent today ninety dollars okay and y'all know on target that that's really good please bus Now, I picked up and picked that up almost farted, but the only reason I did is because I'm filming. But if I wasn't filming, I would have blew this house down just now. Let's try the lemon lime olipop. See what it's giving. It's giving cranberry Sprite. It tastes like a cranberry Sprite to me. Anyway, Target haul. Okay. So, we got the restore and replenish of some salt from Dr. Steels. The exfoliating glove. The Eco Tools one. Some caffeine eye mask, because y'all know I've been trying to take care of my puffiness. Some lemon lime liquid IV. I pretty much, if they got this somewhere, I'm pretty much grabbing it because he loves this stuff. I love this stuff. It's just bomb. The chamomile and lavender tea. I love this brand, but I've never tried this flavor. So there's that. These Ardell Wispies, which y'all know I usually get my lashes bulk on Amazon, but I was already there. Baking soda. I'm not a baker, but we clean. But one of my goals this year was to get into baking, so we'll see. Another toothbrush. I got two toothbrushes. Y'all know you're supposed to switch out your toothbrushes like every month. If we go by Dollar Tree or, like I said, if I'm out doing some self-care hygiene shopping, I'll grab some toothbrushes just because you're supposed to switch them out periodically, especially when you're sick. So if you get sick, swap your shit out. And then we went with the dragon fruit tree hut scrub. I thought it smelled so good and it looks pretty. Yeah, it smells good. Some gum. And this was one of the soaps that I brought back from Oklahoma, but it was the, the medium size. 
whatever size is above this size is the one I had and had to throw away at TSA. Pissed me off, right? So I got this one and it's the lavender Dr. Bronner's little miniature one. And then pink Himalayan salt bubble bath from Dr. Till's. Their stuff is good. I'm not a crazy brand person, but I will say their bubble bath and their Epsom salt is bomb. But I also at Walmart get the big bag of Epsom salt. I think it's like five. It's either five to eight pounds, but it's only like four dollars. I usually get that one, but I decided to get these this time. And then we went with the native lotion. I know this is ridiculous, but it was the last one. I had never tried it before. So yeah, you just gave me a thumbs up. You just gave me the head nod, the approval. It looked good. Yeah. They had this one in the EOS, the blue one. That was the last ones they had. So I was like, might as well try this one. But that's it. That's all we got at Target. Oh, I'm lying. And then I got my boyfriend this contact case thing. Because he, he has hella of these under the sink. But if y'all would see underneath mm -hmm. our sink, it's like so much stuff under there that I need to clean out and organize. Yeah, so that's what that's also another reason I haven't been going crazy with the self-care shopping because we have a lot of stuff that we already haven't ran out of. But I still have to say I only got one pack of these because he has a shit ton of them under the sink, but they're in the very back. But he needs this like now. So boom, got that. And that is it. Um we're about to put up this and the stuff that he got from Walmart all back there. All that stuff right there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but we're gonna put that up and then I'm gonna open up the new pots and pans with y'all and we're gonna make spaghetti. It should be really easy. Ground your meat, pour the sauce in there, onions, garlic, throw the garlic bread in the oven, a little Parmesan and that's it. So yeah, nothing crazy, but we are gonna cook dinner together. I wanted to do an easy meal because I'm trying to have a semi relaxing evening because it's been a long week and weekend, so. I'm about to put this stuff up and then, like I said, we'll cook the dinner together in a minute. Okay, remember when I told y'all I couldn't breathe? Yeah, I'm really struggling. So I just did a breathing treatment and my boyfriend's cooking dinner tonight. It's still spaghetti and stuff. I will probably show y'all, he already started cooking, so I'll probably show y'all the um, finished product. But he did not use the new pots and pans, so I might can show y'all that maybe right should i just do it right now open them uh no i can't i'm sorry let me show you all the food so far though he's got the noodles going and there's our sauce and i'm assuming he already got the bread and we're about to put why y'all trying to look at my man why y'all trying to look at my man but on a serious note if I keep feeling like this, might have to go check in somewhere. You know, I don't know what's going on. But if we're being 100% honest, I don't know what's going on. I feel like it's the vape because it started really bad when I hit the vape. But I really am not like 100% sure. So, <clears throat> I feel gross, but I don't feel sick. That's the thing though, I don't feel sick. You know how you can feel when you feel sick, I don't feel like that. I just feel like it's shit in my lungs, which is why I'm chalking it up to the vape. But my energy is pretty low. Like after going, this is gonna sound ridiculous, but after filming and then going to Target, when I got home, I was kind of like, that's it, you know? So I made some thumbnails. As you guys can see, as you can see from this thumbnail, I think I just accidentally turned into a low exposure girly. Okay? Cause how y'all feel about the low exposure thumbnails? Let me know, I think they're cute. They just look intriguing. Like the low exposure just gives, you know? But I looked at this fine earlier. Earlier I really did eat down before I left. Like I said, I really did want to cook with y'all, but it's just not working out that way. You win some, you lose some. I am gonna cook with y'all at least once this week though. I don't know what, but even if it's just some breakfast, but hope you guys enjoyed this girl vlog. Oh wait, I didn't even do a money count with y'all. This is getting crazy. Yeah.
yeah anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog if you are interested in <clears throat> the wig that i wore in the thumbnail make sure you check out the description box below and if you're interested in dossier make sure you check out the description box below i'll have the links to everything and the codes and all that jazz but yeah i'm wrapping this one up because the breathing is, is not there it's not there Big dinner and a movie. I don't even know what we're watching. I've been half ass watching it. Yeah, no, we gotta change it. We're gonna watch something else. Well, Alipop, Fuse, Vibes.